Hello everybody, I hope you're having a nice day. So I'm here today to talk to you about the Martha dress, which is the newest release for this month in May. And uh, it's released a little bit later than we normally would because we've had a few things going on, but we're very glad that she's here. And in a way it's better because the weather, I hope, here in the UK is about to turn and get a bit more summery so we could actually wear this. Um, so often in May, in fact for the past few years, we've released a dress pattern, usually a little bit vintage. Um, we kind of call it one of our hero patterns of the year, so something a bit special. So we wanted to do that again this year, and so we've been saving this one up. Um, so let me show you it in more detail. So hopefully you can still see me as I'm standing up here. So it is a wrap bodice, but not skirt. So the, the bodice wraps over like that. So you've got it coming through here through a gap in the side seam there, and then wrapping over there. I'm going to sneeze. Achoo! Excuse me! <laughs> there we go. Um, and then this belt just ties round. Now you can tie the belt just like that, or if you're someone that likes a little bow or wants a little bit more of a vintage vibe, then you can tie it in a bow as well, so you've got two options there. Um, and this helps, the wrap helps the fit of it, making this fit easier. There's a centre back zip, I don't know if I've done it, yes I have done it all the way up. There's a centre back zip um, and then the skirt is A-line, but it's, it's a sort of, it's not a full circle skirt, it's more like a quarter circle I think. I can't quite remember what we ended up with, but it's, it's definitely um, shaped A-line but it's not super super volumey and then there's also options to put pockets in if you want to which I think is really nice for a dress like this to be able to put a pocket in. Um, it's a midi length but you can also make it a slightly shorter length if you want to um, and also if you wanted to you could also make it slightly um, longer. You've got the option of doing whatever you want there. Um, it is an intermediate pattern, we'd say, um, so, but it's not super complicated and because you can make it in fabrics such as cotton or linen, then that makes it really easy to sew um, in terms of the kind of difficulty of the fabric. So we have made this in cotton this cotton and we've got it in a gingham as well which is the front cover image and we've also made it in a linen and we've also made it in a viscose and it looks great in all of those fabrics so you've got quite a lot of versatility there in terms of choosing a fabric um, that's suitable um, it works yeah with all of those and just with a viscose it's just going to be a little bit softer and the, probably the dress will hang a little bit more straight rather the skirt rather than more A-line because the structure of cotton holds that shape a little bit more than a viscose would. But it works with all of them. Um, and I think as well it's got some serious hackability to mix and match with different skirts or bottoms. And actually on our Stitch School we have done a hack for you. So those of you who remember the Stitch School will be enjoying that hack soon. Um, so yeah, I think we've hacked it with the Farrah. So I've got a nice little jumpsuit number going on there. Um, so yeah, that's that's all to, there is to say. So like I said, it's got a zip. This is bagged out, which means it's basically lined. It's fully lined, but the pattern for the lining is slightly different from the outside because you've got these pleats here, but you don't want too much bulk in the lining, so it means it makes it slightly different inside. Um, but you can use the same fabric, or you can use a contrasting fabric, or just something that's lighter. You might even find that if you're using a viscose, then you might want to use something that's like a very, very fine cotton voile or something just to have a bit more structure for the bodice, um, you could have that option. The skirt isn't lined, but of course if you want to do that you can. But uh, I would say, you know, rather than lining it, if you need to do it for transparency reasons, just wear a slip um, and save your fabric and time. Anyway, this is the Martha dress. Now, as always, I will be putting it up on Insta IGTV. I'll be doing a styling video on how I would style it so if you're interested to watch that then tune in to Instagram for that we'll be up shortly um, and yeah make sure you look at this um, 
the hashtag SOI Martha dress. So on again on Instagram, so you can see what our pattern insiders have made. Um, initially, they'll be the ones filling it up straight away, and then obviously when you guys have a go at making them yourself, then you'll be able to see um, other people's versions and get some ideas and inspiration. And we're going to do a sew along um, for the Martha dress across two weeks. So that will be starting next week. Um, and then it will be the following week as that will, um, after that. So I think part one is going to be um, with Becca because I'm on holiday and part two will be with myself. Um, so make sure you check out um, the details in the description box below and we'll also link to any of the fabrics as well that we, um, we've got this fabric still in stock and any of the other sample fabrics we'll make sure we'll link to them um, in the description box so you can have a look at them on our site. So guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you really soon. Bye.